Hello, everyone. I am Rhonda of VirtueWorksForYou.com, helping stay-at-home moms and women entrepreneurs grow businesses online via content and attraction marketing on a hectic schedule with ease. And today's topic is 14 Penrithic Pinterest content strategy and marketing tips. So I will be giving you 14 Penrithic Pinterest content strategy and marketing tips. This is the last video for now in my Pinterest content marketing playlist, also known as my Pin to Proficiency series. And uh, for the last few weeks, over a month now, I've been going over some uh, content marketing and, excuse me, strategy and marketing uh, on the Pinterest platform. So I'm going, this is the last video for now. And, um, but I will be giving more information about Pinterest in the future because this is my platform of choice to teach you all. So I am going to get into the 14 pin rific Pinterest content strategy and marketing tips. So I'm going to share this infographic with you. Okay, and so number one, okay, so uh, your image sizes on Pinterest are very important, and Pinterest prefers vertical pins, or you could say vertical images. And they have to be taller than they are wide. And they have a two to three aspect ratio. That's the aspect ratio that your pen images should be. So they should be no more than 1,000 pixels wide and 1,500 pixels tall. Now, I've done a video about Pinterest image sizes. So that will be in the playlist. Now I will be adding this video to the playlist and I will put a link to the playlist in the description to this video. So please check out all the videos in that playlist and the correct Pinterest image sizes will be in that playlist. Okay, number two, pin often and consistently. Okay, you have to be pinning every day on Pinterest, okay? Pinterest allows up to 30 pins per day. Now, everybody doesn't pin that much a day, uh, every day. So, you can pin the... later and pin it don't work like that with anything else um and on pictures you have to be consistent if you want to become successful on pictures if you want to see results from your hard work Okay, and it doesn't take hours. You don't have to spend hours on Pinterest to do this. This is why there's uh, scheduling and there's content batch. A lot of times when I create content for Pinterest, I, I batch my content and I schedule it. Okay, uh, and I don't, I do not spend a whole lot of time on per day because I already set some time aside and pin schedule pins um, of course you can reschedule pins that you already pin um, you have to space them out so you do have to 
be consistent on Pinterest. You have to have a content strategy so you will save time and that you won't spend a lot of hours on Pinterest. You have to schedule your pins, schedule your content, schedule your content creation. And, and you know, you just have to have a strategy for all that, okay? All right. And number three, create short, simple, and unique niche board names. Okay, so, so as many boards as you want to, but they have to be niche specific. Now, you have to have a board that is, the same name as your business name or your brand name and as i talked about in your pinterest profile your pinterest profile your pinterest page should be the same name as your brand for example i the name of my pinterest page is virtue works for you after my brand and my niche board is my main niche board is for virtue works for you where i pin all my content dealing with pinterest content marketing and the other niche specific topics that i cover inside my brand and that my content is about now then i also have another niche specific board in which I only pin content relating to Pinterest content and marketing strategies. Okay, so um, and I call it it's it gets Pinterest. So you really want to keep your board name short, simple, and you know create a different name, create something unique and catchy that would catch people's attention. Okay. Uh, number four, create eye appealing board covers. Now, board covers are push your boards one from another. Now, I have, for example, I have my main board, which is Virtue Works for You primary brand board then I have my YouTube channel board now you can create covers inside of pictures I use the social media template to create you can also use your images one of your images on your board um, to be your board cover for example my YouTube board my cover for that is my introductory video on my YouTube page, okay? So when people go to that board, they see that is that that is my board specifically for my YouTube content. And you want to make sure that it was just like your other images on Pinterest are eye appealing or appealing uh, because like I said Pinterest on Pinterest images matter uh, like one content creator on Pinterest said if your written text that goes along with the images are not all that good but your images are then you know you would get shares because images on pinterest matter and that doesn't say text the the links to your images excuse me the links to your content your written content doesn't matter but people see images okay number five arrange boards from important to least important so when you are organizing and arranging your boards on Pinterest, you want to make sure that your boards that are the most important to your brand are featured first. For example, my primary brand board, Virtue Works For You, is first, right? And then next is my YouTube board. 
Okay, so those are the two most important boards on my Pinterest page. Okay, so your so your brand board, whatever your brand board is, that should be number one. That should be lined up number one. Because from most important to least important. If you have a board just for your YouTube content, then that should be number two. Okay. All right. Number six, add guest pinners or collaborators. Now, pictures allows you to, for example, if you create a group board. And I should have said that here, but you can't create group boards if you want to. So, for example, you can add people to, you know, pin to your board and you can add collaborators co to, you know, collaborate with you on the board. Now, people have rules for their group boards. So, for example, like if you pin somebody's pin, if you add one of your pins to the board, then you share somebody else pin from the board to a relevant board on your page okay and so this is how you can get more visibility by creating that group board and getting other people inviting other people to collaborate or become guest pinners, okay, on the board. And like I said, there's usually rules for that. You know, they may ask you to email them. They may, and they ask you to, to be joined to the board, or they may just invite you if you're a follower, you know, send you a message. And also they have rules, okay, and you have to follow those rules. The rules would be, you should be in the description. Okay, okay, number seven, create SEO friendly pin descriptions. Okay, so when you are uploading your content to Pinterest, you can't just, you know, just upload it and that's it. You have it for search inside Pinterest and for other search engines because Pinterest images also show up in Google. And you have to make the description fitting to the content and, the, and you have to use the correct keywords, okay? For example, my pins are about content marketing, content marketing tips, content creation tips, and in that area. So when I'm creating my descriptions, I put those words Inscription. And when I use do my hashtags um, for that image, I have to put those hashtags after the description. And I will talk more about that in a future video. Okay, so make sure your pins are SC and your your pins and descriptions are SEO friendly. Okay, install pinned buttons. Okay, so um, Pinterest has where you can go and and grab images from various websites, and people can uh, pin an Im I'm saying grab, but pin images from. people can share pins from your website so for example in Canva right here they have where I can share this I can hoover over an image and quickly share it to Pinterest and you want to make sure you install your pin it buttons so that people can share your content to Pinterest if they just happen to uh, come upon your images and they like it and they want to share it. And Pinterest has where you can learn how to install pennant buttons. It's not hard and they have directions to how to do that. 
And so I'm not I'm not going to get in detail in detail about that here right now in this video, but I will put the link in the description. Okay, number nine, set up rich pins and product pins for greater reach. Okay, so rich pins on Pinterest are used to get more visibility and more engaging. And when you enable rich pins, the rich pin feature, excuse me, You will see, you will be able to feature the price of the product that you're selling. I see this mostly with products. And you can also label the product's availability. Let's say, for example, if you're selling a drink, it will have the price of the drink and whether it's in or out of stock. So that is rich pins and Pinterest favor rich pins. And let's say that if you change the price of a product, whatever, Pinterest will update that pin for you. So, rich pins are really, and product pins are really useful on Pinterest. All right, number 10, place overlay text on images for more attention. Okay, so I do this a lot on my, my images in which I place overlay text on my images. And like they say, it grabs attention and encourage more interaction. So, and you can it on your images. You can create those in tools like Canva or Adobe Spark. Now, my number one tool of choice for creating images is Canva. And the reason for overlay text, and I found this to be true, is that, you know, when you, when you place overlay text over images, that grabs people's attention, okay? And, and that could produce more sharing and more interaction and engagement. So do place overlay text on your images for more attention and engagement. And that is another thing that I will talk about in the future. Now there's so many things to cover about <laughs> cover about Pinterest that I have yet to cover. That's why this series will be ongoing. Okay. Number 11, share your pins to group boards and tell when tribes. Okay, so uh, I explain what group, group boards are. Group boards on Pinterest are boards that are set up where people from all niches or specific niches can share their content. They share their content. They share Uh, you know, I do for you, you do for me. I share yours, you share mine type of things. And then there's Tailwind Tribes. Now, Tailwind Tribes are like Facebook groups on this Pinterest marketing app called Tailwind. And Tailwind is a Pinterest marketing tool that helps you get even more visibility for your pins and they have these groups called tribes they don't call them groups they call them tribes 
<laughs> specific. I can't talk there. And so, for example, I am a part of a tribe that's for bloggers and content creators who dis who create content around blogging and social media, right? And so any of my content dealing with blogging, social media, I share it in that tribe. People who see it and like it, we share my pins there. And I reshare other people's pins related to those topics. So it's it, again, it's a, like I share, you share. They're like Facebook groups there, um, in itself for that they, you know, you sh you're actually sharing people content. I don't see a lot of engagement going on as far as, you know, the group or tribe leaders posting videos uh tutorials teaching about topics around the theme of the group but they do a lot of sharing of each other's content and it will help it will it is very helpful in get your pins more visibility than just pinning your pins on pinterest and just you know, letting the chips fall they may. Let's just say it gives your pen an extra boost in being seen and shared and shared and engaged with. Okay, number 13, share other visual content such as videos and presentations. And as I said earlier, people share all types of images to google they share you know simple pinterest images from pinterest with the title of a blog post post and a picture of you know whatever picture they like that's congruent with the blog post for example if you writing a blog post about content marketing you may share a uh, a picture inside incorporate a picture in your graphic with the desk and a keyboard and a mouse or whatever like i do a lot but people also share other visual content like videos you can share your youtube video to pictures you can share powerpoint presentations you can share strategy maps you can share and you know just just visual other visual content is, instead of just a plain image from a basic pinterest graphic template all right last but not least number 14 share your content outside of pinterest okay so pinterest has it to where you can send your pins if you want to share your pins outside of pinterest you can you can share them on twitter you can share them on facebook you can share them on LinkedIn, wherever you want to share them. I, I'm not seeing, you can't share your pins on Instagram unless you have an Instagram, you know, social media template, uh, you know, a uh, uh, graphic made out of an Instagram social media template on your Pinterest page but you can share your content outside of pinterest you can get more visibility for your pins you can ask people you know hey look what i just pinned go to pinterest and share it I check it out you can share a link to it so they can go to your pinterest account look at the pin read it read your content you possibly will have a new follower and another thing sharing my content on pinterest i mostly share my content 
on Pinterest to Facebook and LinkedIn. And like I say, you can share your YouTube videos to Pinterest when you upload your YouTube videos. And like I say, if you have a YouTube channel and you're on Pinterest, you should have a board just for your YouTube videos. And when you upload your YouTube videos, optimize it, create the thumbnail, have everything ready to go, share it out to Pinterest to your Pinterest YouTube board. Okay. And so that's number 14. So this completes the content strategy and marketing tips this is the last video for now in my pinterest content series also on my pen to to pen to proficiency series and if you have any questions please place them down below and let me know your takeaways from this video and also tell me what you have taken away other takeaways that you have you know from my pinterest content marketing playlist which i will place down in the description section all right and so starting next week i'll be moving on to other content marketing strategy and strategy tips so thanks for watching if you like this video please thumbs out subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the notification bell symbol for alerts when you to get notifications when i go live or upload new content i definitely don't want you to miss any content okay and so you all have a great day and i will talk to you soon bye